Dear friends, in this video, we will discuss about 1. Basic of tires 2. Tire construction detail 3. Different type of tire pattern 4. Tire size and fitment Without wasting more time, now we are starting present different topic. A tire is a ring-shaped rubber component that is mounted on a rim of a wheel to provide traction, support, and cushioning for a vehicle. It is the outermost part of a vehicle's wheel assembly that comes into direct contact with the road or ground surface. They are commonly used in automobiles, motorcycles, bicycles, construction vehicles, and other wheeled vehicles. Tires are manufactured using rubber compounds, fabric or steel belts, and other materials to ensure durability, traction, and overall performance. Tires play a crucial role in construction vehicles due to the demanding nature of the construction industry. Here are some key reasons why tires are important in construction vehicles. 1. Load-bearing capacity. Construction vehicles often carry heavy loads such as building materials, equipment, and debris. Tires are designed to withstand substantial weight and provide the necessary load-bearing capacity to support the vehicle's operations. 2. Traction and grip. Construction sites can be challenging terrains, including uneven surfaces, loose soil, gravel, mud, and slopes. Tires with proper tread patterns and grip are essential to ensure adequate traction, stability, and control of the vehicle in such conditions. 3. Durability and resistance. Construction sites are typically filled with sharp objects, debris, debris, and rough surfaces that can cause damage to tires. Construction vehicle tires are designed to be durable and resistant to punctures, cuts, and abrasions. They are often made with reinforced materials and have sidewall protection to withstand the harsh environments encountered in construction work. For shock absorption, construction vehicles frequently operate on rough terrain, encountering bumps, potholes, and other obstacles. Tires act as a cushioning system, absorbing shocks and vibrations from the road or ground, thereby providing a smoother and more comfortable ride for the vehicle operator and minimizing stress on the vehicle's components. 5. Is stability and safety. Construction vehicles need to maintain stability, especially when carrying heavy loads or operating in challenging conditions. Tires contribute to the overall stability of the vehicle, ensuring proper contact with the ground, improve braking performance and reducing the risk of rollovers or accidents. 6. Fuel efficiency. Construction vehicles often consume a significant amount of fuel due to their size and weight. Properly selected and maintained tires can contribute to improved fuel efficiency by reducing rolling resistance and optimizing the vehicle's overall performance. In summary, tires are vital components of construction vehicles, providing load-bearing capacity, traction, durability, shock absorption, stability, safety, and fuel efficiency. Choosing the right tires and maintaining them properly is essential for the efficient and safe operation of construction vehicles in demanding construction environments. Tire construction. Tire construction involves several components and layers that work together to provide strength, durability, and performance. Here are the key components of a typical radial tire. Tread. The tread is the outermost layer of the tire that comes into contact with the road surface. It is designed with patterns and grooves to provide traction, grip, and channel away water or debris. Tread compounds are carefully formulated to balance wear resistance, traction, and fuel efficiency. Sidewall. The sidewall is the vertical area on the sides of the tire. It provides protection and support to the tire, and it often contains important information like tire size, brand, and specifications. Belts. Underneath the tread, there are usually one or more layers of belts, made of steel or synthetic materials like polyester, aramid, or fiberglass. Belts provide strength and stability to the tire, reinforcing it against centrifugal forces and maintaining its shape. They also help to resist punctures and provide a firm contact patch for better handling. Carcass ply. The carcass ply is an essential layer composed of fabric cords, typically made of polyester, rayon, or nylon. These cords are coated with rubber and are positioned at an angle to the tire's centerline, forming a bias or radial structure. The carcass ply provides the tire with strength, flexibility, and impact resistance. Bead. The bead is the part of the tire that sits on the wheel rim. It consists of steel wires wrapped in rubber and is designed to securely anchor the tire to the rim. 
The bead ensures proper fitment, tire stability, and effective transfer of forces between the tire and the wheel. Wheel. Inner liner. The inner liner is a layer of rubber that serves as an airtight barrier inside the tire. It prevents air leakage and maintains proper tire pressure. Inner liners are typically made of butyl rubber, which has excellent air retention properties. These components work in unison to provide a tire with its desired characteristics, such as grip, traction, load carrying capacity, and durability. Different tire manufacturers may use varying materials and construction techniques to achieve specific performance attributes for different types of tires, such as all-season, high-performance, or off-road tires. It's important to note that tire construction can vary depending on the type of tire, example, radial, bias ply, or run flat, intended use, and specific manufacturer. Tire pattern. Tire patterns, also known as tread patterns, refer to the design and arrangement of grooves, blocks, and channels on the tire's surface. These patterns play a crucial role in determining the tire's performance characteristics on different road conditions. Here are some common types of tire patterns. Symmetrical tread pattern. In this pattern, the tread design on one side of the tire is mirrored on the other side, creating a symmetrical appearance. This pattern is commonly found in all-season tires and provides balanced performance for a wide range of road conditions. Asymmetrical tread pattern. This pattern has different tread designs on different parts of the tire. It is designed to optimize performance in specific areas. For example, the outer section may have larger tread blocks for improved cornering grip, while the inner section may have smaller blocks or grooves for enhanced wet traction. Directional tread pattern. Directional tread patterns have a V-shaped or arrow-like design with grooves that point in a specific direction. They are optimized for channeling water away from the tire's footprint, making them ideal for wet or snowy conditions. These patterns often provide excellent hydroplaning resistance and enhance traction on wet surfaces. Directional patterns are typically designed to rotate in a single direction. All-terrain tread pattern, these patterns are commonly found in off-road or SUV tires designed for both on-road and off-road use. They feature larger tread blocks with aggressive patterns and wide channels to provide enhanced traction on various surfaces, including gravel, mud, and sand. All-terrain tread patterns typically strike a balance between off-road capability and on-road comfort. Winter slash snow tread pattern, winter tires have specialized tread patterns designed to provide optimum performance in cold weather conditions, including snow, slush, and ice. These patterns feature dense siping, tiny slits, and smaller tread blocks to provide biting edges for improved traction on slippery surfaces. They often have wider grooves to evacuate snow and water effectively. Performance tread pattern, high-performance tires emphasize grip and handling on dry roads. These patterns feature larger, continuous tread blocks with minimal grooving, allowing for maximum contact area with the road. Performance tires may also have specialized rubber compounds for enhanced grip and cornering stability at higher speeds. It's important to choose a tread pattern that suits your driving needs and the typical road conditions you encounter. Tire size and fitment. Tire size and fitment refer to the specific measurements and compatibility of tires with vehicles. Here are the key aspects to understand. Tire size. Tire size is typically represented by a series of numbers and letters on the tire sidewall, such as P215-60 or 16 or 225-45ZR18. Let's break down what these numbers and letters mean. The first letter, such as P, indicates the tire's application. P stands for passenger vehicle tires, while LT stands for light truck tires. The first set of numbers, like 215 or 225, represents the tire width in millimeters. It indicates the distance from one sidewall to the other when the tire is properly mounted on a recommended rim width. The second set of numbers, such as 60 or 45, represents the tire's aspect ratio or profile. It indicates the percentage of the tire's height compared to its width. For example, an aspect ratio of 60 means that the tire's height is 60% of its width. The letter following the aspect ratio, like R, indicates the tire's construction type. R stands for radial, which is the most common construction type today. The final number, such as 16 or 18, denotes the diameter of the wheel rim in inches that the tire is designed to fit.
Load index and speed rating. Apart from the size, tires also have load index and speed rating codes. The load index indicates the maximum load capacity of the tire, while the speed rating indicates the maximum speed the tire can handle safely. These codes are usually listed after the tire size, such as 94H or 102V. It's crucial to select tires with load indexes and speed ratings that meet or exceed the vehicle manufacturer's specifications. Rim width range, tires are designed to fit specific rim widths. It's important to ensure that the tire's width is within the recommended range for the chosen rim width. Mounting a tire on a rim that is too narrow or too wide can affect performance, safety, and tire longevity. Plus sizing, plus sizing refers to the practice of increasing the wheel diameter while maintaining the overall tire diameter. This is done by choosing a tire with a lower aspect ratio. Plus sizing can enhance the vehicle's appearance, cornering performance, and steering response, but it's crucial to maintain appropriate clearance and ensure compatibility with the vehicle's suspension and braking systems. The fitment of proper tire is must, improper tire sizing and fitment can negatively impact handling, safety, and the overall driving experience. Friends, we have explained in brief about basics of tire, tire construction, different type of tire pattern, and size and fitment of tire in this video. In next video we will explain about maintenance requirement for improvement in lifespan of tire and safety of vehicles. We request all to mention your view and requirement in comment section of YouTube video also like and share to your friend. If you require PDF version of this video, kindly mention your name, mobile number and email in comment section. Also subscribe our YouTube channel Infra Mechanizer, this is 100% free.